All right, so I was talking about um, that uh, Kira did the show at Kira did the show at the Friday Night Showcase at Artie's Tavern, and I really enjoyed it. So yes, let's have a look at it. I want to. All right, so this is our yeah. earbuds time. Oh yeah, we have to put earbuds in to hear this. I'm glad you know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> guess I had lost it. All right, so I'm gonna see if this stays in my ears. Mm -hmm. it's Oh, is it tugging? Pull it up there. there. No, so. I also have bad luck. And there we go. Oh, yeah. There's a Friday Night Showcase. We are sponsored by, if you need to buy or sell a home in Denver, Colorado, right there, Maria Navin Lassiter. There's the phone number. Thank you guys for coming out, or not, for those of you who are watching at home. If you are my mom, stop watching now. <laughs> Those are paint uh, brushes I to school in my hair. I couldn't find and, uh, a hair tie. Is that what <laughs> on campus, they'll send you what they call a timely alert. So you can plan around it, I guess. And these are all real crimes and should be taken seriously. But it's kind of hard because the one that I get the most frequently is for what Campus PD likes to call forceful fondling. <laughs> which I'm not going to say isn't a horrible violation of someone's rights and personal space. It's just that the forceful fondler sounds like someone you caught on Scooby-Doo. It's so funny. You're going to get him in a Happy Meal with Ronald McDonald. As soon as you said it, I pictured a Scooby-Doo character. In but uh, what do you do if you meet the forceful fondler? You blow a rape whistle, which is really the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard. Because... You want to empower a woman, you teach her Muay Thai or have her carry bear spray in her snatch. But you don't... You don't give her a whistle, because if that were effective, we would have other instruments attached to other heinous, cr heinous crimes. Like, look out, he's got a gun! I'd better blow my murder trumpet! <laughs> that always freaks me out to do. <laughs> this really I don't sense. like doing sound effects. You're gonna learn how bad I am at transitions. Um, I eat at Subway because I like to eat fresh. This is actually what I did at uh, uh, Comedy Works. Subway is really yeah because it's the only clean Subway thing is I have. Like new gotcha. car smell is fresh. <laughs> and uh, really, eating at Subway is about as healthy as eating a picture of a sandwich. This is a great. As joke. long as Thanks. that picture was drawn by a real sad person, because there are two people that work at any Subway. One is a 16-year-old girl with like the exact makeup to piercing ratio that lets you know she's not gonna get it together. Not gonna happen for her. And then the other is a dude who's like in his 40s and he just looks like everyone he's talked to today has served him a subpoena. <laughs> and then nobody who like eats in Subway looks healthy either. It's not your CrossFit quinoa crowd. It's just a bunch of people who look like you pulled their body out of a swamp and slapped a couple of tattoos on for color. Um, and then, like, if you read a review for Subway, they always say stuff, like, they talk shit about the staff. They're like, you know, they just look so disinterested. The staff was so unfriendly. I'm like, really? You want the staff at Subway to be interested? You think that was plan A for them? That's not plan anything for anybody. That's plan I drink to feel less alone at night because that liberal arts degree wasn't really the ticket to tomorrow I was hoping for. A lot of words in that that's sentence. Long, long I know that firsthand, by the way, because yeah. I work at a sandwich shop, or delicatessen, if you're into letters. Um, and people say dumb shit to me all the time, and it's really heartbreaking. Like, this one dude's just like, can I have one of those floating cucumbers? I'm like, you mean a pickle? And it's like to the point where I'm like, where is your helper? Where is that nice lady in a blue vest who makes sure you don't touch anything electrical? Uh, worse than anyone who says anything dumb are people who try to get cute with me. So there was this one guy, we were slow, he walks in, he's just like, oh, are you working hard or hardly working? Like, I don't know. Are you really depressing or depressingly real? <laughs> Please tell me there's more to my life than this. That hurts. Uh, I'm kind of a depressing person that way. I don't like it when people tell me I have potential because I'm 25. And See? it means a lot Told less at 25, 25 than it does at 15. Right now, I have the upward mobility of a plane that's disappeared. Um, like, people will try to say things to cheer you up. They're like, you know, every, every seven years, every cell in your body is replaced, so you're a whole new person. It's like, yeah, 
A fatter, older, more wrinkled version that can't bend as well of yourself. Looks great, future. Thanks. Um, That's something I really regret is writing really my like set list on my arm. I do all the time, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I would have remembered it really, though, I, like, if, if I hadn't. If you have something that makes you feel better and you find comfort in, that's that's awesome. Those that's are my fine. dogs. Yeah, and uh, I'm away. And I get really tired. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who are atheists, Cute. and they always Thank say you. it's just like, well, I just think it's inconceivable. I don't understand how an otherwise rational human being could believe in, you know, resurrection and talking snakes. I'm like, really? You have no idea. So let me tell you something. I'm an otherwise rational person. And if I go into a public restroom with an automatic toilet, it goes off before I'm done. There's a decent seven seconds where I'm absolutely certain an alien eel monster is going to rock it up my poop chute and eat my brain. It took years, despite knowing, understanding that logically men just grow beards. They do not stand in front of the bathroom mirror and just go Hurr! while the, f the fur comes out of their face. Like, I thought that's why you were all so jealous of each other's beards, because you were that's just flexing. true. Like, his face mm -hmm. is swole. <laughs> really? Otherwise, yeah, totally it rational. didn't occur to me. Uh, uh, I got in an thoughts. argument with my boyfriend because I thought he was growing his beard to annoy me. <laughs> and then I realized he just Left had forgotten to shave. Dump, I'm a lady. <laughs> and he goes, oh, that's gross. Girls only poop rainbows and sunshine. You're not a big fan and of And I'm like, though. how did you know it's eight different uh, colors? My dad has fire. one. And uh, I think it always made me think of him so, so no <laughs> i think i've gotten over it because even if i look younger i am 25 and i really don't want to date a child yes got you <laughs> but you're not really supposed to say that if you're a girl because it's unattractive that's a weird social convention that we have that it's unattractive for a girl to talk about poop uh, and we do a lot of weird things in our culture to seem more attractive to other people. I knew a girl who vajazzled, which doesn't totally make sense to me, because why do you want to advertise that your lady cave is so deep you can mine it for diamonds? <laughs> uh, and it goes both ways. Like, for men, it's very attractive to be seen as romantic. Um, but romantic is just creepy's better looking roommates. Because uh, all romance is, is just how well you can make a gri girl cry without hitting her. <laughs> you use your words for those tears. <laughs> I loved you from the first day I saw you, and I've never stopped. Um, but it's in all our, our music and our movies. It's just part of our culture. Like, there's that song by Bruno Mars, the grenade song. You know, he'd catch a grenade for you. He'd put his hand on a blade for you. He'd just LARP Call of Duty for you all around. What does LARP mean? You know, like a LARP, it's just a, uh, it's a live action thing. role like, play. That's it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Thank hey, you. Like any girl who oh, wants you to <laughs> blow yourself up is just a sociopath. <laughs> that's not good material. That's not wife material. That's just a sociopath. Like for me, uh, you know. You had me at steady day job, man. <laughs> you don't have to die. Fuck that. Um, but I understand it's very hard to do romantic gestures. I'm really sure what I was just doing. Out. I get that. Getting comfortable but it's super yeah. weird for us. For example, <laughs> I had a guy message me on that. Facebook. Um, so I, d you know, I did the friend request accept thing. So that's cool. And uh, right after I did, he goes, hey, how are you? I'm like, oh, all right, I'll wait. How, good, how are you? Good. Do you have a boyfriend? I didn't answer, because I didn't want to. He was like, do you have a job? <laughs> I'm like, so where are we going with this, buddy? Because this feels a lot like you're trying to figure out how long it's going to take people to figure out I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually an example Either of that, uh, or just you're keeping trying to going out if, you don't, if you mess up. Because uh -huh. that's actually out of order did you did this happen it totally did and uh i thank him for the bit i guess <laughs> but he uh he sent me a message asking if i had a job first and then a boyfriend <laughs> and i didn't like the job thing threw me off so badly because 
that was literally his response to how are you. So I was like, huh, uh, employed, that's how I am. <laughs> the lowest okay number for a blowjob you can offer God. me is. I to ask you about the Either way, I'm too. not going to answer that. Um, <laughs> another, another fun one was uh, I was walking home from a bar, and this guy is peeing in an alleyway. Because it's 2 in the morning. Fuck it. Why not? But uh, he looks over at me, and he goes, Hey, you're beautiful. You should smile more. I bet you're beautiful when you smile. I'm like, what did you think the best case scenario for what you're doing right now is? Like, I'm just going to be so enamored by your charm and your clear endowment that this is the story we're going to tell our kids? <laughs> Other than that, though, like, I mean, I've thought about it. It could have been so much worse because he could have just been jacking off in the alleyway, <laughs> staring at a peeling mural, hands with hands still on his cock, still stiff as the Pope's hats. And then he looks over at me, still masturbating, and this is the shot he's got to talk to a girl. Looks over, sees me, goes, hey, you should smile more, and then a yogurt explosion erupts from the tip of his penis <laughs> like a freshly popped bottle of champagne. And if I'd have been there ten seconds sooner, my future kids would have had an older brother. Thank you, guys. Sinead, get back up here. Well. Uh, that was fun. 